Hello and welcome to Ange. Hi. Slate with Ange. Brand new page on, well, it's brand new in terms of this part of social media for you, Slate oh, with no, Ange. I'm because just learning as I go. I, but I do honestly. see that you've got a home account and we will talk about that, a home uh, account as well. But yeah. Ange has recently set up the page Slay with Ange, which is all about positivity in life, mm -hmm. body positivity, your whole attitude. Mm -hmm. I see that you're quite spiritual because I see the Buddha. Uh, We're actually part in, is it okay to say that? Yes. Part in Angie's driveway and um, there's a big Buddha over there, there which is. I loved as soon as I drove in. I'm like, yes, we're going to get deep yes, with us. That's what I thought to myself. Right, so let's start with where, where and how and why did you start the page Slay with Ange? Because like I say, we know that you've got a home account. We'll come back and talk about that. Mm -hmm. But you you went out on your own on Instagram, Slay with Ange. Right. What motivated you to right. do that? Right, okay. So I'm 47. Mm -hmm. I'm a granny and I'm a size 18, right? So I'm mm -hmm. classes plus size in the UK. And I Which thought to mental, myself, by the I know, way. but it's it's, that's cool because mm -hmm. I don't care what I'm classed as in yeah. society. But the main thing for me is that I have my own style, right? Mm -hmm. So I was going out um, to nights out and folk were like, God, I really like your clothes and I like your style. And I'm like, oh, it's just totally different. And then me and my daughter got talking one day and she was like, mum, you're so confident, she's like, and you've got a totally different style to anybody else. You don't give a crap what people think. She's like, can you start a page? And I was like, oh, yeah, well. Have I'll... you always been like yes. that? You've never changed your whole no, life, right? No. I've got better with my confidence as I've got older. Yeah, I definitely that's think. That's what happens to us. <laughs> I think as you get older, you do get more confident because you uh, just take your crap. Spots. You just, uh, yeah, you do. You mm -hmm. basically do, yeah. So, um, I started the, the page. And I literally started it going, you know, this is my outfit. This is where I've got it from. And the first video, I basically said, look, I'm not wearing a bra. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. And it was a bikini top. In fact, I've got that on today underneath here. <laughs> because the puppies looked good in it. And I thought, you know what? It's totally different. So I took the top off and showed the bikini top and said, look, why do you not change things up? Don't just think, oh, I need to wear a bra. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's where my first thing started. When was that, Ange? Was that in, in March? April. April, right. So mid-April. Uh -huh. I can't believe I've only had it three months. It's ridiculous. But anyway, mm -hmm. so basically, i done that. And then got more followers and more followers and more followers. And I was just like, whoa, what is happening here? And now it's just ridiculous. It's 16,700 followers I've got now in three months. And it's like, whoa, what's it's going insane. on? Mm -hmm. But it's because now... It's naturally progressed. I leave everything to fate, right? So it's naturally progressed from me starting to do clothes videos and trying to get people's confidence up to now doing motivational stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just taken a natural sort of glide into that. And I actually, I really enjoy doing it. And I'm really enjoying helping people because see now, the amount of messages I get on a daily saying that, do you know what, Ange? Because of you, I'm now buying my first bikini and I'm going to slay. And everybody says it and I think, yes. Cameron. And you got your tattoo and holiday with slay on it. Can like, you see that? Well, you can. Well, and you're back just to front, back But yeah, holiday, I got it added so on go... to this one and it's mm -hmm. so broad. Mm -hmm. Because I want to make the statement, that's how much I believe in it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I wanted it to be there so that if I'm drinking or whatever, do you know what I mean? It might spark to, a conversation. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you see it and it's a constant reminder to you and anybody that you're speaking to that yeah. that's what you're all about. It is what I'm all about. I'm all about not only it's turned I thought it was I used to start my videos going, Hiya girls, hiya girls, slay girls. But see now, it's hi guys because now I've got males and females that I'm helping. Mm -hmm. So I get messages off guys as well, and I help them as well. Do you do you reply to all your messages? Every single message. You realise there will be a point that you can't physically do. Well, that. you'll get so bad. No, no, <laughs> no, because that's what it's all about for me. Right. See, this is what it's all about. It's a community. It's like a positive little community, right? Mm -hmm. And if there's any negative comments come in. I just instantly block them. Uh, Insta I just the delete the comment mm -hmm. and instantly block them because I think I'm not letting you on my page. Nobody's interested in that. My followers didn't want it and I didn't want it. So mm -hmm. that's what I do. Yeah. And basically, um, I've got the page and it's helping men as well. So I ha you know what I mean? I'm appealing to both sexes mm -hmm. and I'm helping everybody feel more like, do you know what? Go get them. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, you're mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's, I throw in fashion as well because I do do a bit different things. 
but I'll put it on maybe on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday when I'm out, or if I'm on holiday, you get inundated with bikinis mm -hmm. and outfits at night. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. showing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. And knowing, so a wee bit about you, knowing about you, you're a successful businesswoman. Um, um, you've got your own business with uh, your van that's got all your logo and everything on yeah. it. Is it Zaza? No. It's, How do you pronounce it? So it's Zaza Zaza. Zaza Zoo. Zaza. Zaza Zoo. Oh, so, so it's Zaza Zoo. Zoo. That it, would make sense. It was taken from Sex in the City. It was when um, Carrie was talking about meeting Mr. Big for the first time. She went, I've got a Zazazu feeling. And all the girls were like, what's that? And she went, it's butterflies in my tummy. And do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like um, really excited. And I thought, oh, I love that. So I bought that business name seven years ago. Oh, and just right. bought it and parked Aye. it. And I thought, mm -hmm. do you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to use that name. So I thought it would be Zazazu Massages for you, Zazazu something for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what. Were you doing something at that time? Nah. nah. Just, were nah. you not? You didn't I have was... your own business before that? Oh, no, I did. I, like, I've had a, so I've had a joinery business, me and my husband, mm -hmm. for 17 years. Mm -hmm. And that was really successful, right? Well, it still is. Mm -hmm. And we've got a massive showroom and we've got like 19 staff. So that's that's local to me. So that's happening over there. And then I helped him build that up for about three years. Um, I had a 23-year-old girl and at the time 17-year-old boy. So when he was born, I helped do that, right, for the mm -hmm. first three years. And then after that, I basically uh, said to him, right, get office, get staff and I'll just bring him up do you know mm -hmm. what i mean and have mm -hmm. a few years off but then what happened was it was like total fate right i was not expecting to do this but i kept hearing this radio advert you know like you know how you just tune in right mm -hmm. to certain things right so the radio's on the back and every morning i was putting my makeup on and i kept hearing this bloody foster advert foster advert and i thought you know that's weird i keep hearing that and then i followed a bus once and it was like foster and i was like oh my god this is mental and then one day a leaflet come in in the newspaper. I scrumpled the leaflet up, put the newspaper in the bucket. And the next morning, I kid you not, I got up, put my foot on the pedal. Mm -hmm. The bin lid came up and I'm not joking yet. Thing was stuck to it, facing me, going foster. And I was like, wait, I'm phoning up. So I phoned them up and I got a wee lad uh, who was five. Um, so he had to live in different houses before he met me, mm -hmm. and they were like, "You're his last chance." So he's going to a boys' home, and I was, like, I, was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, "I was like, oh, I was like, no, I was like, um, no, it's not happening. There is no danger in my lifetime that that little boy, a five year old, is going to a boys' home. It's just not happening." Mm -hmm. So I put everything in at that, and I had to do loads of courses and all the rest of it. So I basically fostered, and that was what I had to do because I had to learn all about it and learn about the trauma that they've been mm -hmm. through and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'd done that for years and then basically three years later, I was like, right, we're adopting him. And we just loved him and that was it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So you've got three kids. I you've have got, got three kids. Uh, yeah. I, I saw you talking about that, about your youngest mm -hmm. um, that you'd adopted. It's amazing. Um, so it, do you have any of your kids that still live with you at home? Aye, two of the boys. Aye, 17 right. and 16 okay, now. Right, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's only a year between the two boys? Yes. Right, Okay. Yes, um, um, that what a so lovely age gap actually. It, for the it was women. perfect, honestly. It couldn't have been any better. And mm -hmm. what I loved about it was Clark was only six when he, like, um, like me, Jack came to us. And basically, what happened was he took on that lad. I'm not joking. Any six year old would have been jealous of mum and dad sharing hugs and sharing toys. And I'm not joking, you Clark just never, he just wasn't jealous once. He mm -hmm. never, ever said to me, he's never said to me. Mm -hmm. and when I went and I said to the council I want to adopt him and they were like right mm, you know you could get paid for him until he's 18 I was like no uh, it's not about the money I just want to adopt him so mm -hmm. it took me a year to find him and I got him and see mm -hmm. the day we got him in court it was just amazing mm -hmm. so that's it I so I've got imagine. three kids that's amazing aye and I would imagine that there's no even they're just all like oh, brother, sister whatever it's just and we've put that much into all our kids but especially him to bring his sort of way of thought is mm -hmm. completely different now and he's just mm -hmm. banging life it's brilliant oh, that's I'm so proud of all three of my kids they're amazing uh, what a credit to you so we've digressed into your family you were talking about the business side mm -hmm. yeah, and what you did with yeah. your um, Zaza Zoo so I started that four years ago um, during lockdown started it from the house uh, what made you start that Well, it's it was such a, a difficult time actually 
I, I know, but it was just because, I know it sounds daft, but someone else was doing it and I said to her, do you know what? I fancy, like, let's let's do something together. And then I thought, what have I done? I thought, as soon as I sent off, I thought, I hate balloons. Like, I'm actually scared of them. What am I doing? And, and then she was business. like, yeah, let's do it. So we started in business together, me and her, and uh, done a couple of years. Um, and then basically Paul was like, look, we need to move it from the house now. It was just getting too much. And I was like, right, well, build me, so And he went, right, okay, well. So he built out, he just done out the double garage at work. Mm -hmm. So that's where I am. So, so you're I'm on right, the same premises um, as the... I, because we own that. So basically Aye. we've got the shop beside his showroom, basically. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so... So you did... So when you moved out of the house, are you still in business with that woman? Or no, did things change? Nah. And you're on your own now? She wanted to go um, and get another job. And I thought, that's fine. And actually, I'm not being funny... But since I've had that business myself, it's just skyrocketed because I started the marketing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think about it at the time, but I just thought, do you know what? I'm not shy. I thought I'm going to put myself out there and just be an idiot on social media, right? So I started dancing with the balloons at first, a couple of years ago. And then it morphed into scripts every week and I was making scripts. So I was writing them out. I was getting outfits. I was doing the scripts. Do you know what I mean? And then it was just a laugh. And then it's now morphed into songs right so i'll pick a I've song i know it's Aye. so funny so i'll pick a song so last week it was sex bomb when it by mm -hmm. tom jones and you make your and own words up i i sit and just write out the song it doesn't take me long to be honest it only takes a few minutes and then i write the song out that obviously talks about my balloons and then i put it out to the nation basically <laughs> and what happens is but yeah but because it's so funny because i do dress up stupid and that like tom jones i had the chest here last week and that it's just a banter eh? i mm -hmm. love a banter so because of that, it's now getting known world, worldwide. And what's happening is like somebody from Dubai was over here and came in to see me at the shop. And somebody wow. was from Spain and came in to see me. Do you know what I mean? It's because mm -hmm. they want to meet me because I think I'm a riot, basically. Uh, uh, which I am. I would like it's good fun. Well, exactly. Like good fun, exactly. And, that's what you're and not being funny, it starts all my customers' weekends off with a bang on a Friday morning because they just get a laugh. Uh, and you keep... So you did you teach yourself how to style balloons and that? Is yeah, that what you... So you're the person that does it. So all the yes. orders that come into the shop, you don't have any doing I it do, for you? No, I do you have do, staff. You do, for you. Aye, right. I've got uh, a couple of staff, aye, but aye. I, yeah, I've been self-taught and then I've taught them, so it's actually, it's honestly, it's amazing, and, and I now I love it, and now I'm not scared of blue, it's so random, aye. but see it again, you see. I know, I know, and you're a big believer in that, which brings me on to, well, I just wanted to say about your shop, because it's Zaza Zoo, it's in Delgate Bay, and um, you're open, is it five days a week? I'm open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, nine to five, and uh -huh. then a Saturday, ten to one. Right, so that is five days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Aye. And I, um, I, I like to go out on a Saturday. As soon aye, as the work's done, aye. I'm like, right, off to the pub. But surely, anyway, that's mainly a base for you making up the orders that you get, because you probably get your orders over the phone or online or whatever, aye, do you? Of, nah, or do people nah, walk do in know, and order it's, the It's well? mad, aye. because I'm the only balloon shop in Fife that you can just walk in and you just order, like, you can just walk in. And you can in. choose. I mean, like, I've seen it online. Aye, there's 10,000 the balloons, I know. Like so aye. they walk in and they just go, I'll have that and I'll go and make it for them and they just stand and have a blether and then we listen to music for 10 minutes and then I've have their balloon. But aye. I can personalise on the spot and that's my biggest selling point. Oh, really? Because a lot of folk aye. need three days to order, aye. I don't know why, but anyway. But they can walk into your shop aye. and just get it there and then. Yeah. And you get people from all over five. Oh, aye. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious, right? Because I put it on all the billboards every week, right? So somebody in Cooper went, I don't need a balloon, but see when I do, I'm coming to your shop. <laughs> but it's just a I, I think Come it was mean. amazing, I did, because I can't even think mad, anywhere eh? near me where you walk mm. in. There probably is. I don't want to offend anybody, but I couldn't think oh, it's just a balloon hilarious. shop like that it's so where funny. you can, other than like, and that's not even a balloon shop. Eh, what are they called? The cards shop. That oh, card aye, shop. Aye. I mean, you walk aye, in and yeah. they've got... But it's not mm. like your shop. No, no. Like, Mine's is all personal. And the thing is, what I like is, it's honestly, my customers walk in, I'm like, right, let me turn the disco down because I've always got the tunes blaring. Aye. It's a proper good vibe. Aye. Aye. So, like, my staff didn't ever want to leave me. It's, it's hard to get a job with me because nobody wants aye, to go because we have a laugh. Aye, do you know what I mean? You can aye. imagine the banter. Aye. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And so when you said that you'd bought the name and you were going to do, you didn't know what business it would be, but you mm -hmm. knew it would be for a business. After you, like, worked with your husband, set up your business that mm -hmm. you've got running alongside the balloons, yeah. did you do any of the mas massage or any of the stuff you're no. talking about? Or did you just no. go straight from the joinery into balloons aye. and that's your... 
Yeah. We extra thing that is just yours. I That's know. the difference. Just uh, yours. It's mine, now. So what about the whole manifesting thing? Because you talk about that and the Buddha oh, and everything. Have you always been like that? No. No, I this haven't. This is what I no, really want no, to know. No, I love I your haven't. ring, by the way. I love like this. It's stunning. I wear Swarovski uh, all the time. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Just uh, so it is no. <laughs> um, no, but um, so years ago, right, I know it sounds stupid. I've always been a wee bit, not psychic, that's the wrong word, but I've always been in tune with my angels, right? I've Where all, are you from originally? Because you've got here. quite a... No, but I mean, your, like your family, your parents and whatever, because you actually, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, you born everybody, your whole history, because yeah. you've got a bit of an Italian kind nah. of look about you, I uh, think. Absolutely no, not, So you're nah. totally, your whole family. Well, my my granddad was Estonian. Right. Um, okay. So I, so Aye. he came over, he was a prisoner yeah. of war and came over. Wow. I know. And do you know what's funny? See, this is fate again. Right? That's what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. There was two boats, right, at the end. Right, and one of them was going to Canada, and one of them was going to Scotland. And he went, "What's the quickest boat?" Because I don't like boats, and they went to Scotland, and that's why that's he came why, here, oh and God. that's why I was born. And that's why you're right in the water as well. Did I you get off the boat here in uh, Dalgetty? No, 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 uh, no but, I didn't know. But no. aye, that's how you ended up, right? Yeah. So, um, aye, right. Tell us how you got to the whole like right. Spiritual so, and that. um. I've always been in tune with it, right? And it's like, I know, I know that sounds stupid, but I reached out to this lassie, yeah. right? I reached out to her one day and I just went, oh, you know, how are you doing kind of thing? And I've not spoke to her in ages. And she went, actually, she went, I'm not in a good place, kind of split up with my man. I was like, oh God. So I was like, do you know what to do? I went, how, like, how are you? She went, well, I'm going to go away for a few days with the wee boy. And I went, right, do you know what? I'm going to go with you. Let's go. So I basically treated her to a couple of days away where we lad and I took my boys and basically we talked and talked and that was fine and everything was good and then she said to me she went have you heard of the secret and I went no she went did you write the secret I went what do you mean she went and you are so positive she went like when I'm sitting with you I just feel more energy like more positive you know what I mean and I was like all right so what she done as a thank you was she sent me the secret so she sent me the book. Mm -hmm. So I had a read through it and I was like, yeah, do that already, do that already, do that already. And then um, it came to the money side and I thought, oh, I don't do that. I thought, I don't do that actually. Like, I just think you've got to work hard for your money. Do you know what I mean? And then I thought, I'm going to change my attitude on that. I'm going to say, I'm going to get money. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I changed my attitude on that and it took about a year and a half to totally change my attitude. And... Uh, Anyway, something personal happened. Um, and it was weird because that actually came true. Like, do you know what I mean? I can't Aye. I can't go into that Aye. part, which mm -hmm. is a shame. Mm -hmm. But um it's actually quite a good story. But I just don't know if I should mention it or not. Do you know what I mean? So I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Mm -hmm. So any but anyway, so that happened and then basically from then I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna manifest everything. So I wrote this thing out in my drawer. How long ago was that? About I would say five years ago. Right. Okay. Um well it was about se like it was about six so or seven years that I started like changing my attitude and mm -hmm. manifesting everything. But five years ago, I wrote on a bit of paper. I was like, I'm going to lose three stone. I'm going to own a business. Um, I'm going to be the best mum and all the rest of it. So I wrote it all down. And it was really bizarre because, without a word to lie, right, I got my business. And because I'm pumping and blowing every day, I'm up and doing, come what I mean? Like, aye, I always aye. make a joke about that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, because of that, I naturally lost three stone. How weird is that? That's mental. I know. Just, um... It actually, legit, I don't, I've not changed anything in my diet. I still go out bevying on a Saturday. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's so weird, but I've lost my three stone. I've got a really successful business and the kids say I'm like the best mum. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I've had a banter with them as well. Eh? Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nothing serious. I'm always right. like that. Nothing you can tell me will shock me. Mm -hmm. And I've always got their backs. Eh? So we have open discussions about everything. It's just brilliant. So, that's weird and then I've drawn out House Abroad and I'm like I will get that and I've drawn it out I know exactly what it's going to look like right I've put my budget beside it and I know I'm going to get it but I'm not manifesting completely that right now because it's not the right time do you know what mm -hmm. I mean but mm -hmm. I know I will get it Aye. and that's the difference I know I'll get it mm -hmm. if you know you're going to get something you're already living it which means it'll happen mm -hmm. boom mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's the secret. Yeah, I know. I know all the philosophy about yeah. the secret. It's, and it is hard to train your mind, though, but I'm fully but you trained. You do need to keep at it and keep at it. Do yeah. you ever, like you're talking about being up and down? So do you ever? No, I mean up and down physically. All right. So you don't mentally ever have. Nah. Down days at nah, all. Did ever. you before you started practicing yes. the secret and yes. whatever? Mm-hmm. Aye. Mm-hmm. And what was that like? Was that what prompted you to change your attitude? No, I didn't have down days, if you know what I mean. I just had a period in my life where I was like a bit like, mm, do you know what I mean? A bit anxious Lost. and that. All oh, oh, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was actually after I got um, the wee boy and I started fostering him and I went to the doctors and I went, I don't understand. I'm getting panic attacks driving this car. I don't understand why that is. Mm-hmm. And he went, is anything major happening in your life? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> then the more we got chatting, I was like, oh, I fostered six weeks ago. He's like, eh, hello. <laughs> He's like, that's why? He's like, because that stress is, because it's huge. Do you know what I mean? You're taking a wee person in that's not, your own, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's massive. massive. And uh, he went, well, that's why it's coming out. So it came out of my driving, we are doing. Mm-hmm. So now I just don't drive, well, I drive around locally, but what I mean is I just don't drive. Why would I put myself in that situation? So you still get anxious from that? That's driving. one thing that affects that's you, the driving? Thing. That's the only But because I've got a mental block now about the driving. Right. You feel like that's your... Do you know what I'm saying? Right. But to be honest, of, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. Come on, I mean, I taxi everywhere or I get my pals or... Do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't... You beautiful part of the it, country. It, it you don't need not, to go anywhere. It does you put your local it, on your doorstep. Exactly. Right. It does not... It's something that just doesn't affect me, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you know. But what I'm saying is I was anxious through my drive, and that was it, um, for a good few years. And I thought, no, just stop driving. And then that way you're not... And then you I come on... Yeah, mm-hmm. fixed it. And that was mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So, In terms of mental health, is that the only thing that you've ever yes. heard your whole life? Mm-hmm. I heard you talk about an incident when you were younger. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Aye, actually. well, I opened up about that Aye. because, and it really helped people. I got loads of messages that day mm-hmm. saying that folk were going to report folk in that and I was like, yes. Do you Aye. know what I mean? So that wee video really helped. Help people. Do you want to, for the purpose of people that won't, won't have heard that, do you want to I'd share rather, it? I'd, I'd rather, rather they, went, they went back they, and looked. Yeah, they right. can go back so and look. Because it, it says it at the top, by the way, this is a personal story. Yeah. But it's about an attack on me yeah. when I was younger. Right. And it wasn't nice. But it took me a lot of balls to go out that day and do that video. Yeah, and I was a bit tell. shaky yeah, and I was a bit tell. vulnerable. But I wanted to do it. I felt like I wanted to show that side of me. Because at the end of the day, that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And I think it was important to share it with my people. Uh-huh. Because I knew it would help somebody. I knew it would. But and it it's did. also, yeah, of course it does. It is also, you're saying it's the worst thing that ever happened to you. Well, totally it understandable. Aye. It's horrific. Aye. Getting Aye. attacked mm-hmm. is horrific. Mm-hmm. So that story, so you've given a high level overview anyway. That's what it is. It's on mm-hmm. your page. Aye, it's on and page, I think then. it's really important as well for people to see, like, yeah, you have got this attitude of, Everything's about being positive oh, aye, and is. manifesting. It is, oh, a, is. it is the best aye. way to live. Aye. But also, you know, it's not like you've no had things well, in exactly. the past that have affected have. you. And I think it's really important for people to exactly. see that as well. The exactly. Because it is reality. Of course it is. Oh. I mean, God, nobody breezes through life and there's nothing happened to them. Get what I mean? But luckily for me, I really just don't let things affect me. I just mm. don't. I cho- It's like, I know this sounds daft, but I feel like I've got Disney a bit of glass here. Daft. I've got a bit of glass here, mm-hmm. right? Literally, you could throw it at me. You could throw anything at me, right? And it'll slide down the glass. That's how I feel. I feel protected by this bit of glass. So that's mental that you're saying that. Because I've got a coach. I don't... It's a coach from the past. I've not actually seen him or spoke to him in ages, right? Mm -hmm. But that glass thing was something that he taught me that you're taught. So did somebody teach you that? Or did you just come up with that yourself? I know. So what he talked about, right? So you know the rose and... um, Bell, Beauty and the Beast, you know, the rose and the film, the rose is in like oh, this yeah. glass uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. case yeah, thing yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so he taught us that um, you've always, if you always visualise yourself in that glass, you know, it's orangey the glass case and whatever, so if anybody, like you say throws anything at you you know, you're protected yeah. by this wall of glass, yeah. or as you say, which well, is I've a just, really good analogy. Anybody throws anything, it just slides, slides off the glass. The glass. But I've mm-hmm. never heard that in my life. Not that is that's so mental. bizarre. That's anyway, crazy, my right? bit of glass is here. I let very minimal in. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. 
obviously, you know, if my husband split up with me, I would let that in. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you get what I mean? Our son major. Aye, but what aye, I mean aye. is, like, I really don't care. Like, somebody could come up to me and go, you're a fat get. I hate what you wear. And I'd be like, Psst, get get slid down that glass. I really, it would not affect me if I get a bad comment on, on social media, which is, I mean, very rare, to be honest. But if I do, it's usually, like, a little old woman from London say that says, oh, a bit mutton, or have you got mirrors in your house, <laughs> or whatever, hen. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. all I do is just delete and block. And it doesn't affect me. I literally don't care. And the thing with you as well, and I do use this in my own head as well, mm. I always think about the hundreds, literally, of positive comments that you get mm. and the good messages. It's always just... It's so insignificant okay, in the whole scheme totally is, when totally is. I, so. I couldn't care less. I, I really couldn't care less. If somebody doesn't like me, bog off then. If somebody doesn't want to follow me, see ya. Don't if die. you follow me and unfollow me, who cares? Come on, I'm not really bothered. Aye. I'm not doing this page for any fame or anything like that. I'm doing this page. I want to help folk. And it is helping folk, so I'm happy. Come mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just can't. And I don't know if it's because I'm... I've asked this question a few times before. I'm like, why is it the page is doing so well? And they're like, because you're real and you're authentic. And mm -hmm. like, I've not got a bloody certain background. And I'm taking selfies in my cupboard at what I'm wearing. You get what I mean? I'm Aye. not bothered. Can if there's a box on the floor, there's a box. like I do my videos in one take. I've literally not had to ever do two videos on a couple of takes. Aye. I do it in I one think because I, I want to. I feel natural speaking to the camera. I also think it's the fact that your whole aura, personality, energy, everything that you put out is you do not give one single fuck. I don't. What anybody thinks. I don't you. care. People want to absorb that. Image. I know. People want a wee bit of that because. I know. Do you know what's really cute? And this is my, I thought, my biggest compliment um, recently was a lassie messaged me and says i feel like you're my mum's best pal and you're giving me advice and i was Aye. like yes mm -hmm. because everybody wants their mum's best pal to give you advice. do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like i'm i feel like i'm maybe a safe space for people i don't know i get messages from folks saying look this is happening in my life can you help me and i'm mm -hmm. like yeah no mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. i'm a wee agony Aye. 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 but i feel that my page is a safe space and it's Absolutely. very positive and i don't mm -hmm. know if that's what folk feel from it it's a bit... but as people take what they need from it Aye. if there's, if there's yeah. a strong person out there mm -hmm. people want to follow the good people of this world want good so yeah. you know Aye. if they don't feel that they've got it or the Aye. confidence or whatever yeah. if there's somebody out there that you can follow that you feel whatever yeah. it is all of these things or you know maybe just a wee bit of it whatever mm -hmm. whatever it is people will follow it it's mad, to get yeah. a bit of that i know and it's just yeah it's just, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm going with it. I'm going with the flow. And I believe in karma. And I always yeah. put good karma out. Like, I will legit walk into my, my work one day and go, do you know what? God, those folk are trying to fight breast cancer now or cancer. So then I'll just put out a post going, look, I'm going to give out five free balloons a day. And we're going to deliver them to people around about the local area just to cheer them up. Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking for, like, I'm not bothered about money. I am a businesswoman, but... At the end of the day, you know, it's just nice to give back. You can do that. Do you know what I'm saying? Aye. No, I get like, it's it. not, Aye. money is, like, money's lovely, but it's not everything, and it does not change your happiness. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It makes you, it makes life better, obviously, because you don't need to worry about things. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, but certainly, my business is all about the community and helping folk, and I keep my prices really good because I just think, don't take the mic out of folk. Do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, doing nice things like that, brings good karma back to you that's mm -hmm. how i feel yeah. I and i See. also feel that doing this page and having nothing in return because i literally have got nothing in return for it you know what i mean like social media i, I, I don't like want that, i don't though. want to mm -hmm. be famous i'm not bothered about that i'm not bothered about getting money from it i just want to help people but because i think that is my agenda like i don't care about that stuff I think I'm getting good karma back from it. Oh, absolutely. You Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm really feeling a buzz mm -hmm. out of doing this page. Mm -hmm. Like, I done... So, I'm now on Cameo, right? This is hilarious, right? And what's Cameo? Is that, like, acting? Oh, no. Right, so, <laughs> what happened me. was, right... 
So basically what happened was, right, folk were contacting me going, can you do a video for oh, hi, Jess, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. graduating hi. the day? And I was doing them, but I was struggling to keep up because I was like, they're all in my inbox and I was forgetting to do it. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm getting stressed. So I thought I'm going to go on Cameo and they can take care of it, right? right? So I only put it up the other day, I was doing it and I've done six already. But what was really cute is, right, I mean, no names mentioned, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, I've actually done a video on it. Um, I'm going to put it out the day. Um, but this is so cute. So this boy lives in Scotland and the girl lives in England and they've got this relationship going on and he got me to do a video of the day to ask her to move up Aww, and that he loves love her and that and I was just like oh my god I can't believe I'm doing this and I was I just loved it that's what I'm getting back from yeah. it do you know what I mean I feel Aye. involved I'm like I'm actually wanting to meet them yeah you probably will I like, actually want happen. to meet them uh, I'm dying it. to meet them because <laughs> at the end of the day I hope she says yes I hope she gets in contact do you know what I mean uh -huh. I'm so excited and asking for the, the two of them day. You, do I, you, well, as a private no, no right. but I didn't I didn't I've made the video this morning but I'm kind of holding on to it because I didn't want to put it out until I know that she's seen the video that I've done uh, do you know what I mean I, so if you asked if you can put it out once she no, sees it will you it be matter, like, no you can't no, no, well no it's not that nobody knows who they are oh right I see what you mean do you know what I mean it's totally right, like who's going to know uh, who I right, you know what I mean I get you so there's no names yeah, of that nah. in it right but, and so that's your that's a small income from that then that's something do you get an income for it it's like I tiny do you know what I mean but right. at the end of the day it's not about that it's to get it on the app so that I can I, keep control of it yeah. do you know what I mean mm -hmm. um, and it helps me big time so it's actually manageable now which is bro but I love speaking to folk do you know what I mean mm -hmm. right. is like, that I'm what you do when you're not working day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Aye, like even, that, at, even um, at my blind shop, though, I'll do a video. I'll just go, I'll, do you know what, I'll just do a quick video. You're just constantly on the go doing something. Aye. Aye. Right, so see the spiritual side of it. Mm -hmm. We talked about like being a bit psychic and whatever. And you're obviously, I know spiritual means something different to whoever. I'm like, not the psychic. Individual. You're I've not. just got a, I've just got an ability to f really feel empathy mm -hmm. for people. Does that mm -hmm. seem stupid? Mm -hmm. So no, I've basically, I've got something in me, like, I know it sounds daft, right, but there was this woman coming to my shop one day, right? And I was like, uh, son, come out I mean, I just knew, I just thought, son. And it was weird because I said to her, I went, oh, do you want a picture at the wee famous balloon wall? Because loads of folk get pictures when they come in to see me, um, standing with what they've bought. And she was like, oh, no, no, I don't, I don't do pictures. And I was like, do you not? And she was like, no, because like um, it's my mum's 80th tomorrow or something and I was like right I was like well do you know the thing is see if you die before your mum doll I mean what has she got to remember you by like where's has she got any pictures of you and she went well no really no I was like oh my god so I stood and spoke to her for a good 45 minutes and she went do you know what I'm actually going to get pictures tomorrow and I was like good so me helping her hopefully gave her mum a few memories. You know what I mean? Right, so you did a video about that. So yeah, I did, think, and that's why I done the video. I know somebody like that. I mm -hmm. actually personally know, mm -hmm. I actually know quite a few people mm -hmm. that do not want their picture taken. Mm -hmm. Just don't, I know, I know exactly that. what you're talking Aye. about. And I would say mm -hmm. it affects women of a certain age more so, yeah. in my experience, Aye. right? So mm -hmm. they just do not mm -hmm. want to appear mm -hmm. in pictures. And that's what you're talking about, where like the, that's maybe self-conscious or yeah. whatever the reason mm -hmm. is, and you had made a video saying that if you're like that, you need to think about when you're not here anymore, what have people got to remember you by? Totally. And I'm all for that as well. I take photos and videos of everything. So I'm they are. But that. the thing is, it's weird how, so how I work my pages, I'll just think of something and go, right, I'm doing a video on that. I'm, I'm mm. no doing it months in advance. Sorry, you know what I mean? I'm um, not planning it nothing's planned on this page but then that's what's fun about it yeah so i would say you're picking up an energy anyway. yeah that's basically what oh, you I. do like the whole buddha thing then is there anything with that is there anything no it sounds there is there really isn't it's not a thing that i was consciously aware that i was doing but over the years i've just started collecting them right yeah. but it's not a, like it's not like i'm going out going right i'm going to the shops i'm going to buy a buddha do you know what i'm saying you just like them i just and... see some and i'm like oh i like that mm -hmm. i like that one mm -hmm. do you know what i mean yeah. yeah um and it's really bizarre because you know laugh at this but one new year we were sitting in a hotel and i said to paul i'm wanting a couple of garden ornaments right because we built our barbecue hut and that 
and uh, Paul was like, oh, I've got these, I've seen these two statue things, but they're Buddhas. And I went, oh, God, that's mental. I was like, oh, they're bro, right? And uh, honestly, right? So we went to the women's house and I was like, wow, they are far too special to be going in the garden. And I know it sounds daft, but I actually felt really good energy off them. I sat it there sound daft and well. she said to me, she went, these have been in my family for um, 60 years. She's like, and they're really, really special. She's like, and I don't, I, I wanted to meet the person that was getting them. She went, because I'm actually really upset. But what happened was her house, right, had got built, but the they were too tall for her room. Mm -hmm. So the joiner had knackered up and she couldn't fit them in the room. And she was actually crying, like when I took them away and I was like, oh my God. But what's funny is I, I'd actually reached out to a spiritualist and went, I need to bless these into my house properly. Wow. So that, because they're so special, I'm not joking mm. you. So they're, fr they? they're from a temple in Nepal, right? Mm -hmm. So they're in my living room, right? Mm -hmm. And they're massive, but wow. they're so amazing. And it's weird, right? Because, um, like, there's just something about them, right? And I blessed them in properly and I said to bless everybody in my family and everybody that comes in the house. Do you know what I mean? Wow. So just so that's uh, but um, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And my pal who doesn't believe in this at all, he came in one day oh, and he was really, 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 really ill, like really poorly, right? Mm -hmm. And he had been for a few years. And I was like, Go and do my favour, go and have a wee word with Abu does and he went, uh, no really. And I went, No, go and do it. And it was the weirdest thing. So he went through and held their hands, right, for 15 minutes, right? And I'm not joking you, right? We were just chatting away. He came back in and he went, oh, my God. And I went, what? And he went, there was this heat that went from his feet right up his whole body. And it was like it came out his head. And he was like, his heart rate was through the roof. And he come back and showed us on his thing. You well, know, Apple Watch, mm -hmm. uh, fitness uh, watch, whatever. Aye, whatever aye, it was. Aye. And I'm not joking, it was absolutely pounding. Like, I was like, oh my God, like, you've just stood still. And then after a few minutes, it calmed down and went back to normal. And I was like, wow. And then he got better. Wow. Uh, it was the weirdest thing. Wow. I'm telling you, there's something magical. So that that's does. just, that's just your pure instinct that you've been drawn to these. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's mm -hmm. created. I but think everything, I work off amazing. instinct all the time. Mm hmm energy mm -hmm. do you do a meditation or anything like that no. do you do anything to help no. with that kind of no. thing imagine what you could manifest if you did oh no but no no <laughs> I've, no i'm no and he can what i mean didn't get me wrong i'm no a spiritual goodest that's gonna sit there and go um you know and do all that i'm right. just no into that right i'm just yeah, but, yeah. happy with how i am and that what i do do you know what i mean and i mm -hmm. feel good vibes and i get good vibes and i give good energy off and I, I, I want folk to succeed. I'm a big cheerleader on the side for everybody. Do you know what I mean? I'm there yeah. going, yes. Do you know what I mean? I would never put somebody down. I'll always bring them up. And I think that's what it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm good energy. Your kids must get that off. Oh, they as definitely well. do. They definitely They're do. going to succeed and do yes. well. And then you've got a wee, is that a grandson or a granddaughter? Grandson. grandson. How old is he? He's coming up for four. And he'll pick that up. Oh, he as picks well. it up already. Aye. Mm hmm. It's what? it's unbelievable, yes. But They're my very kids, lucky to have you. I my kids are always like, God, you're so positive, Mum. And do you know what I mean? You're, they definitely are more confident because of me. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's so what it's you good. want. That's and my friends come to my house, and I know it sounds bad, but they might have a problem, right? But see, when they leave my house, it's almost good for your soul. They say it's good for your soul being here, because you know we'll talk it over. But even just sitting on the balcony and looking out and just view, being in this energy, I have to one hundred percent agree with that. There's it's something amazing. about my house that's got an energy. Eh? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, and you've been in it. It's now. like the minute I drove in, I'm saying to you about the Buddha. It's I knew just... when I turned that corner, I was ready to pick up my diary to check what your address was, and I didn't need it. I knew straight away. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, ah, that's it's your mad, house. Eh? Ah, it's mad. Um, it's just got it's, a good energy in it. it is. They go away and they're like. Oh, Feel like a weight's off my shoulders so it's it's mental eh? mm -hmm. but i have got a calming presence i think and a very honest presence mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. the energy. Even I would say you're powerful online anyway, but actually being in your presence, walking into this property that's yours and at your house and whatever it's, it's even more I powerful like i walked in the door when I mean, you said to me just to come in and i was like oh my god i feel like i'm home <laughs> i feel like Aye. you know i don't feel any no. like oh wait a minute and just the whole where you are as well and i love the water and the sea mm -hmm. and i'd love to live here it mm -hmm. is stunning but so on that note let's talk about this beautiful house because again we're talking about energy and how crazy things are i had Anne from shorty scotland's home of the year show on the podcast a few weeks ago and after i'd done it and whatever <laughs> i don't know you put a video out or something or maybe it was her video that went out mm. and i then realized that you you uh, knew yeah, Anne because know. you'd been on I know Scottish her from. I, I know, not but I didn't that. know her from that though. I know. Sorry, you didn't know her from that. I because you don't that. meet the judges. Aye. So right. we didn't meet the judges, mm -hmm. but what happened was because my house was on Scotland Home of the Year, somebody said, "Oh, we're having a garden party," and it was quite recent, um, and they were putting a charity day together. We went along to meet some folk that had been on the program. And then she was there, mm -hmm. and well, the, all the judges were there, and the photographer, he's lovely as well, Andrew, he's lovely. Anyway, I was just chatting away at them all, and she just liked my vibe, I think, and I liked her vibe, and we just realised that actually, do you know what, we're just girls wanting to have a good time. Mm -hmm. These are very, you, very we similar. We are similar. Uh, I know, yeah, but who knew, eh? Who knew? I know. But now, do you know what I mean? Like, So, so you she... never met her on that? I didn't know they didn't meet the judges, no, the people you, on you it. you don't meet the judges. You go out, and then you come back, and they've been. So you met her again, all fate. Oh, it's all fate, definitely. All the way things were. Yep. So you met her at a gap. And then I mentioned the Sleepy Ange page, and I just started it then, and she followed me, and she loves it, and I follow her and love her page, and do you know what I mean? It's just what so it's all about. So you're connected now. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because when I saw her in here, I thought that's so random. I know, I, like, I can't believe it. it. You're but so then that's what yourself. happens. That's Aye. how random life is. Do you know what I mean? I know. But it is random in one hand, but then in the other hand, oh, like I think it to to. makes sense. Oh, it all I makes sense. This all falls does. into place now. And the fact that like everybody's connected by the is it the seven what is it called? No, you know, I don't like know. I the whole know. apparently the whole world could connect just through you and seven other people because they know no somebody idea. they know somebody they I don't know see, I don't know all that. Um, so I wanted to say about your house because mm -hmm. your page, although that's not your main nah, page now I because it's Slaby Ange, yeah. but you've got loads of pictures and wee tours for your house on your house page if people want to see it for inspiration or just to see what we're talking about here because it is absolutely mm. off the scale. Stunning, huge, big balcony that looks out to the River Forth and, and the all Forth the bridges. bridges and Delgetty Bay is like that. Aye. It's highly Aye. sought Aye. after. It is. It's it not is. cheap to live here no. because it is absolutely but it is amazing. Beautiful. I love living here. But it here. is. It's Aye. stunning. Um, so, how did your house come about, and how long have you been here? I, sorry, what's the name of your page, though, so people can oh, see? Oh, um, so it's the Scottish Vibe V Y B E. The Scottish Vibe yeah. on Instagram because I've seen it there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, how does so that we've had it seven years, I think, or coming up, maybe all? eight, maybe eight in March, I think eight mm -hmm. coming up for anyway. So when we got it, weirdly enough, this is one of the oldest houses in Dogetty Bay, right? Oh my god! And it was Doesn't a Norwegian uh -huh. sailor, well, captain of the ship, I must add, that brought this house over, right, mm -hmm. from Norway, right, mm -hmm. and then he built it, and it was a lot smaller when I bought it. But it was, and it was wooden, right? So, so you you've can still see got it. some of the, the wood detail. No, is the that, wood's is that underneath new? that. Is that the wood's all right, underneath okay. that. The original mm -hmm. one's underneath Oh, right, that. okay. Right. But anyway, so he brought over, built it, and then we came along and we reconfigured some stuff, put a massive extension on two sides, and then done it all up, basically. So it looks really modern, but it's also the oldest house, which is so mad. Mm -hmm. Like the scouts, right? So the girl guide and the scouts started off in the Bay in this house. No. Mm -hmm. So you know the history, the whole house, mm -hmm. where it came from. So how old is it originally, the original structure? Uh, well, it was built in 1958, I think. Right. So it's you know that, uh, that Like that was when the bay got and it built. Does not. Was it? Is that mm -hmm. when the Bay got built? Mm -hmm. um, and it was not 
I mean, it's a, I can't believe that. That it just doesn't look like well, it does. You've completely even your drive and everything with the yeah, beautiful like monoblock and whatever. You've completely. <laughs> Do you know what though? Why not? The way I expanded it. Do you know what I love though? Right, is when we got the house, right? It was all like chippy stones, right? Mm -hmm. And the garden was quite kind of like it was not massive, but it was quite nice. And then we got the house, right? And we got the house, right? And the garden was quite kind of like it was not massive, but 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 it was not massive, We we done this Y fest right, and it was an actual festival in this front garden. Honestly, that sounds amazing. we had portaloos, we had a blow up pub because at that point we didn't have the bar inside. We had a blow up pub, right? We had like kids rides and everything. Wow. We had a big like shoot hang. We had, I mean, I'm not joking. It was ridiculous, and there was about two hundred folk here. And my old garage, which was over there, mm -hmm. um, we opened the doors up and we put the bands in there, and we had live bands all day. It was unbelievable, and we raised money for the British Heart Foundation. Oh, that's amazing! Mm -hmm. Do you still do stuff like that, parties and whatever? Because um, I've heard aye. you talking about. We're doing one in a your... couple of weeks. Are you? <laughs> but do it was you... just a summer party. It's just about... random. Like I'll just like come up with, oh, do you know what? We've not seen everybody for ages. Let's just have a massive party, mm -hmm. and I've got a singer coming, and then a DJ later on, but. Aye, it's wild parties. Like, I love my parties. Aye, and you host and whatever. Because we've got the games room now and the pub. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, all in the house. It's just brilliant for parties. Or if it's nice, we've got the patio with the hot tub and the barbecue hut. Do you know what I mean? So aye. there's always, there's loads of zones. And, you're, aye, you're and actually, that's what it was described as on Scotland's Home Year. It was the party house from the way to be. <laughs> Was was like, it? Is that what it was yes, called? Aye. That's what they said. And you applied for it. You basically wrote to them. You were telling me to aye, apply for yeah. it so they could come and see your house and whatever, and it was on the telly. Two years ago, aye. aye. 22. Aye. But um, I I just wrote an email off one night when I was watching it, and I thought, oh, I'll just try it. But I never expected to get bloody top three in Fife. I thought, God, Fife's a huge area. But we did, and that was great. And we were on the programme. We never got through. We didn't get to the next stage. But who cares? We were no, on the programme. It was a aye. massive achievement. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Considering what this house looked like, aye. which you can and see you from the that, page. Aye, from the pictures and whatever. Aye. Aye, that's good. So how long did it take you to transform it? To, like, from buying it to moving in? Uh, how long was it? Six weeks at first. So we'd done six weeks, and then we'd done you the whole house. Oh, right, okay. No, it was all brought. Aye. And then we then literally maybe a year or something to actually go around each do you know what mm -hmm. I mean and, and make it totally different yeah make it yours put your personal stamp like on do it. the extensions and all, do you know what I mean aye, aye. aye so the fact that you had a business anyway in joinery well did obviously did that help well I obviously because <laughs> he knows everybody aye so basically yeah, everybody, he just, anything mm -hmm. happens in the house and he's like, oh, come round and sort it. Do you know what I mean? He knows, he knows all the contacts, so it's good. So what's in the future for you? What lies ahead for Don't have a clue. And our... Don't Do have a clue, plan? but do you know what, though? Um, what I'd like to happen is I'd like to, like, a, a major magazine, which I'm not going to say the word, like, who it is, but they've contacted me, so I think I'm going in a magazine. Uh, through shortly. your page Slavey Ange uh -huh. or oh really yeah wow so I'm going in that shortly um so I've already done the interview for that so that's coming up so that's really exciting um and what I'd what this is what I'm manifesting what I'd really like to do is be on Loose Women oh wow because uh, that I would brilliant. I would want to be on Loose Women because I think I'd help so many folk if I was do just chatting to, to them do you want to be like a a weekly feature or something like that or do you want it actually be a loose woman no i don't want to be a loose woman I, I i just mean a one-off oh, oh, i just right. meant a one-off god right. i'm not wanting a bloody job there christ i've got enough on <laughs> no but what i mean is that's what i'm manifesting i want to be a loose woman i need to be speaking to as many folk as i can because it's totally helping mm -hmm. and i think the magazine will do well and i think do you know what i mean i think they'll be i'll get a lot more followers yeah, from you'll that. get it from you'll get them to do you know what mean would you ever consider doing like motivational speaking well i've coaching? already said i would because when i first started the page yeah a lassie reached out and said can you do one kind of you go, in the local area hi Aye, I'm not bothered you. about that. I didn't get nervous about speaking. No, clearly. I wasn't nervous that. about no. meeting you and today. Usually people are. No, nah, I, I wasn't. No, nah. nah. I wasn't. I mean, Aye. I literally ate my roll at 10 to 1 because, I mean, I was like, right, I'm meeting my roll and then, oh, here she is. Kim, I wasn't stressed. I wasn't nervous because I thought, I'm quite natural when I talk, so I knew I'd be all right. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Aye. No, I know. I didn't know you would be all right thing. as well. But, I, I, I mean, I'm not bigging myself up here, but no, I am natural listen, in front of the fine. camera. It doesn't know, bother me. Do it's fine not to be nervous. Mm. Right, we've got 10 minutes left. Is there anything else you want to say? I've got my random questions. I was going to do some lottery questions with you, but I'll give you, like, obviously, if there's something you want to say yourself before we go on to that. Um, I don't know. Do you want to 
yeah, I want to say to you all that life is too short, right? It's not a rehearsal. So whatever you're doing in life, right, you have to just ace it, right? Be as confident as you can be and go for it. And just don't care about negative comments or opinions or whatever. Who cares? You need to learn to do that and keep, I think you should watch my page. So that's, that's the only thing I wanted to end that on. Mm -hmm. um, I'm totally absorbing all your good energy. There's nothing I love more good. than being with somebody good. with amazing mm -hmm. energy. Um, right, we'll do a couple of wee questions then. So these are called, these are totally random. Oh, right? Fine. Some of them are funny, some of them yeah, are serious. Fine. If you don't want to answer it, you can pass and go on to the next one. But my... Lassie, you need to choose a number between 1 and 130. Uh, 90. 90. Big high number. Right, 90. What did you want to be when you were a kid and why? Um, I wanted to be a primary school teacher, right? And I that went, I you, went to uh, do a week's experience. In sort of can high like high school sort aye, of work the first aye, but it's just aye. like the first kind one. I was young, and then um, they were all like, mm, and they were calling me, by, and I was just like, no, no. They were calling not, you what by your like, first name? Uh, no, no, Miss. Aye. Aye, aye, and I was just like, no, and I just thought, no, I thought, no, that's not going to happen. So that was. What Did I, you see? You your know, when you're tiny and you've not got a clue. Aye, that's aye. what I thought. But I think also. Everybody is a wee lassie. Aye. Anyway, goes through that mm. stage of, oh, I want to be a teacher. Because mm. the teacher's the one person in society that you I look know. up to and you think so, then you worship them. So that's my answer <laughs> that's to that one. And I've never asked you about your childhood. I know you're born and bred, they'll get to be in whatever. Everything all nice, yeah. happy, no issues. No. What a great life you've had, <laughs> hen. <laughs> Apart from your wee Aye. incident. Um, right, choose another number. Seven. Right, no, I think I've had number seven because I'm sure it's a lucky number for a lot of people. No, I haven't actually know that I read it. What does happiness mean to you? It's a good question for you. Happiness means to me that your soul is cleansed, right? Mm -hmm. My soul feels cleansed. I feel like it's, oh, I can't explain it. So my soul is cleansed and I, I think that's what I mean when I'm saying nothing can bother me like that. I feel like it's clear. Mm -hmm. My mind's clear. Mm -hmm. And I feel that that is my happiness. That mm -hmm. is my happiness. Mm -hmm. Because I only let things affect me that really matter. Mm -hmm. And that's a great place to be. Oh, totally. Absolutely. That's that a great is place to be. So that is my peace. happiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, ultimate, ultimate peace. peace. And have you consciously thought like that for a very long time, or was it was it a point seven where, or eight years probably aye. properly? Aye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was when the secret was introduced to you. Well, no, I started was it doing before, it before that, that aye. Before. and then that just helped. Mm, helped aye. a bit. I mean, that wasn't the whole thing. Do you recommend but, that book? Yeah, I, I would actually. I I would recommend mm -hmm. the book. I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. aye. I, I think. Out of all the manifestation books, I think that was the one to really nail it in really in depth detail. In yeah, the well, I just, I mean, I don't know. I, did, I didn't, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I didn't sit and read every page because I was I know, like, that, I know, I know. <laughs> it's like that. Quick, and quick. see the next you one. What's the next one called? Because I've got that as well, The Secret. Oh, and I then, don't have a clue. Oh, I can't mind, but I was exactly the same. Aye. I was exactly the same. Right, we'll do one more before we go for Slavey Ange. Right, so we'll do 15. Right. Uh, what would the title oh, of your autobiography be if it had to make people laugh? Again, that, that question is so you. It That's is so amazing. Mean. What would the title of your autobiography be if it had mm. to make people laugh? Oh, God. Because you love making people laugh. And I know, but in. God, I can't think of that on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that good. But, but it um, would be something to make people laugh. It absolutely would be. It that's would what be. Your totally. Are about, yeah. No, nah, totally. Them. I know. Um, I no idea. Swing your pants. I'd, do you know what I mean? Like, or swing like that. your pants I and slay your son. Do you know what I mean? Just, do you know what I mean? Go. Oh my God. It would be something that? like that. Because <laughs> I swing my pants all the time. I'm out all the time having the best times with my pals and that. And do you know what? Life's too short. I'm going on the holidays. I'm going on another night suit. Mm -hmm. And I'm slapping, I'm sliding into that grave sideways. <laughs> 
Jason I'm going knew. in from the left, baby. <laughs> Jason knew that was amazing. Well, thank you so no much. Problem. I, that was I think we've good, covered it? everything. Oh, I think we've well, covered I've never shut just, up. It's been Sorry, amazing. Sorry, guys. No, don't apologise. <laughs> That's what we want. We've done it within the hour as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for having well, me well. and inviting me over thank here. Thank you to for do. coming. It's been amazing. I've loved it. I can't wait to put this in. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye. Bye.